Alrighty, moving on to the last one. I'm not going to spend too much time on this one uh, because, like I said, I'm not the best at modding. But uh, here it is. Obviously, on the patch notes, they kind of kept it short, but they linked uh, this page right here. This is what we're on right now. And uh, as you can see, here's an overview of all the modding related changes that came with 1.6.4. Alrighty. So let's, I'm going to just read out like the first sentence and uh, go from there. So we got Font Atlas Generator is now available to modders. Modders can generate new font files with files and use these fonts in game. Okay, cool. So new fonts just dropped. Uh, then we got story mode events dot remove listeners do not need to be explicitly called anymore. Now story modes is added as a campaign event receiver. Sensational. So I'm guessing you can, uh, it's more flexible now. That's what I'm guessing. Listen, I don't, hey, I'm trying here, you know? Uh, we also implemented a fix that should take care of the long uh, modding module loading times in response to the request. Oh, yeah, uh, some of the overhaul mods have had a problem where, like, the first time you load the mod in, it takes, like, literally hours. And I think this, is, this might be what the change is for, which is very good. Uh, then they say, we continue to work on the following issues, documenting of new floor documentation of implementing new floral, allowing modders to create new atmospheres, backgrounds for quick conversations, adding an option to change relation action, apply player relation, call to not award charm XP. Okay, that's kind of, okay. Then add an option to change crafted item weapon type, like skill it gains, perks of benefits, or allow new uses for crafted weapons. Okay, more flexibility on weapons and what they can do. Then modability for can have recruits and ability to determine which notables can have recruits. Cool. The, uh, the addition of the whatever <laughs> event system. Jesus. Okay. So modders can more easily modify some campaign content. content. Cool. And other requests. Alrighty. So what are people saying? Uh, they said, could we have the ability to load strains of XML files? And then he goes, sure, we could bring that up. Cool. It'd be nice to be able to create new races with the skins. Okay. And they say they already have an open task and are already working on a system that will allow you to implement multiple races to the game. That's very good, right? Hopefully, right? Yes, maybe. Um, hopefully this is talking about kind of like the skeletons and how it's, you can't really create um, skeletons, like new skeletons in game. You pretty much like, whenever you see like, there's a um, World of Warcraft overhaul mod that came out and uh, the pretty much the AI looks like orcs, but not because that's like their skeleton and they have armor on. Their actual armor, like what's in their slots is the like the, what the orc looks like. So it's like kind of like they're wearing a costume in a way, right? And if they take that armor off, it would just be a human model because you can't create different models, like skeleton models, if that kind of makes sense. Oh, uh, this is amazing. Thank you. Cool. Oh, uh, they said that, that unfortunately they're only slightly improved the loading times, but they're still kind of long. Okay. And they said they're going to investigate this issue. Okay. And then we have, you guys uh, change the way troops upgrades worked? Just asking a question. Okay. Well, we'll see how it goes. It looks like they are very active in this, and it looks like people are happy with the changes. Uh, probably in a couple more days, they're going to have more replies here.